hello everybody hi keepers and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a highly requested video keepers this has been the video you guys have been asking for and i'm finally here to deliver it to you guys so unwind with me let's get into our nighttime skincare routine and we all know the key to good looking makeup because i've been wearing this for over 10 hours now okay and the key to a good looking makeup is your skin under this makeup so let's unwind let's um clean off this makeup and i want to show you guys my step-by-step -step nighttime skincare routine so let's get into the video keep on watching and if you haven't already please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video so let's get into it all right y'all so moving right along we are going to start off with our l skin holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm you guys i love this stuff like it just makes taking off your makeup so much easier it comes with a little spatula um that you would just scoop and rub all over your face look how it's melting my makeup off now this cleansing balm has hyaluronic acid and we all know the benefits of hyaluronic acid it hydrates your skin um smooth skin textures it's an anti-aging benefit um uh, smooths fine lines and wrinkles like there's just, just so much benefits and i absolutely love it because it just makes taking off my makeup so much easier um here i am showing you guys a wet um paper towel now normally i would hop in the shower when i'm doing the step just because it could get a little bit messy um but because i had fresh lashes um i didn't want to put any water on my lashes so i was just wiping off um the uh, balm here you can use makeup wipes as well but normally if you're just using the cleansing balm all you have to do is just w wash your face with water um but like i said i had lashes so i didn't want to do that <laughs> so here i'm just making sure i'm going through all the crevices of my eyes because i had eyeshadow on this day and i just carefully wipe as much off as i could now next i'm gonna go with my pan oxo acne foaming wash now this has 10 percent benzoyl peroxide and that really helps with clearing existing acne and help preventing new acne from coming up now whenever i feel like i've been wearing makeup a lot um, or the time of the month is coming and I feel like I'm gonna get a um, some acne I would definitely go in and use this so um, with the cleansing balm I do like to double cleanse so after the cleansing balm I'll go ahead with a another cleanser and this is an acne cleanser just to prevent any acne from breaking out because I do wear makeup quite often so I do want to um, take care of my skin under the makeup so yeah I'll go ahead and wash my face all right and once you do that, um, you, you don't want to wash it off right away. I'm going to show you in a second that, um, yeah, you at least let it sit for five to ten minutes. Yeah, then after that, um, after it sit, I will go ahead and wash off my face with a wet um, cloth. And once again, I'm not just throwing water all over my face but i'm using a cloth just because of my lashes so yeah um i dry my face as well with a paper towel and i just get in all the places where i may have missed my lips are so dry but now we are going to move on to toner so this is the ordinary um glyconic acid and i go ahead and just use a cotton pad or cotton pine cod wow cotton pad <laughs> can't talk and just tone my whole face with the toner don't forget your neck you guys and behind your ear listen don't ever forget that and then i'm gonna go in with my ordinary niacinamide and a zinc and rub that all over the face Now, if you don't know, the benefits for niacinamide really helps with hyperpigmentation. So if you have dark spots, um, it reduces wrinkles, just like um, hyaluronic acid, but it's really good um, for hyperpigmentation. Now, around, around my cheeks, I do suffer from hyperpigmentation around my cheeks and i do have a few dark spots but ever since adding this into my skincare routine it has really really helped with that like soon my skin about to be one level okay one skin tone perfect <laughs> but yeah Ooh. 
Next is the ordinary hyaluronic acid. Now, I already told you guys the benefits of hyaluronic acid. At this point, the ordinary needs to sponsor me because I swear by their products. Honestly, you guys, I've been using their products consecutively for months now. I want to say even over a year now. And it has really, really helped uh, my skin. It, my skin loves it. Now, don't forget to do your neck you guys like i said do your neck don't forget to also put product on your neck because your face and neck you always want it to be the same skin tone and just it just balances everything out but um if you guys can see i like pushing the product um and pressing the product into my skin i really take my time when i'm doing this and i like pulling my skin in an upward motion i don't know where i got that from but i feel like it really helps with tightening my skin and just making sure my skin kind of looks youthful i don't know but in my head that's how i feel if i keep pressing the product and pushing my cheeks up and pushing my forehead up it kind of just makes me look a little bit more youthful but yeah that's just that's just a me think <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with the infamous, the good old cocoa butter, okay? Th listen, I grew up on this stuff and my skin was amazing as a child. So why are we taking away from what we use, from what we've always known? Yeah, I moisturize my face with cocoa butter. Nobody's gonna tell me anything. It works, my skin loves it, and this is why my skin looks so good. It's my cocoa butter. <laughs> All right, y'all. So last but not least, this is my Pearl Essence Rose Water Plus Squalene Common Facial Mist. This is my game changer. This is the game changer for me. Adding this into my skincare routine has really made a huge difference in my face. Now, rose water has so much benefits. You can use it as a skin toner. You can use it as a setting spray. It treats acne, delays aging, reduces puffiness in eyes. I love this thing, you guys. Like, listen. It hydrates, reduces redness in skin. It heals wow it heals wounds okay it unclogs pores and prevents aging like there's so much benefits to rose water and you can use it throughout the day like you don't have to use it just the one time you could use it several times throughout the day um if you feel like your skin's dry but you don't want to really put on slap on a cream you can spray this on like it just has so many benefits and it just makes so much sense but i love this stuff and um i would say this has honestly been um a huge game changer for me so i would highly 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 recommend adding rose water into your skincare routine so yeah once i spray that in i just like patting everything in and kind of like using it to set and seal all the products that i just use and yeah you guys that is pretty much it this is my nighttime skincare routine it's giving glass skin baby it's giving glass skin it's giving smooth healthy hydrated beautiful skin and don't worry you guys i got you guys covered i'm gonna leave everything that i've used in the, today's video in the description box below so go ahead and check it out if you guys want any references if you guys have any questions as well please 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 do not hesitate to drop your questions and comments down below um i do want to really point out that everybody's skin type is different so what works for me may not work for you so it's really important to understand uh, your skin and treat it accordingly and if you don't that is okay um, looking to uh, getting an appointment with a dermatologist just so you can understand your skin better know what your skin needs and cater to the needs of your skin so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all